Hi guys and welcome to Meditation Monday. We're going to do our meditation a little bit differently this morning. I'm going to read you a passage from scripture and then I want to read to you a piece of a novel written by Kathleen Norris called Amazing Grace. What I'm going to do after that is I'll give you some questions to ponder and I'm going to invite you to write your responses to those questions. If you're super brave, you can write them in the comments to this video and let me know that way. Or you can simply write them down um, and not share them with anyone. After I give you a few questions to think about, then I will give you something to pray for this week as a response to hearing this reading. And finally, we'll end with a prayer for today. And so the biblical scripture that I've chosen for today comes from Ezekiel chapter 34 verses 11 through 12. For thus says the Lord God, I myself will search for my sheep and will seek them. As shepherds seek out their flocks when they are among their scattered sheep, so I will seek out my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places to which they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. And so Kathleen Norris writes this, We make such a fuss about seeking God. We're anxious about so many things, and faith, prayer, and searching for God are not accepted. Are we doing it right? Will retreat teach us a better way? Which method of prayer will be most effective for us? What church congregation will best feed us spiritually? Probably, she says, the best thing we can do is to relax, take a deep breath, stop thinking about what we want or need, and forget about it. Seeking God, that is. Instead, we might wait and begin to silently ponder the ways in which God may already have been seeking us all along in the faulty, scary stuff of our ordinary lives. I love that last line, right? To take a deep breath from our search for God, from all the ways we try to get closer to God, and maybe spend some time simply realizing the ways that God is already coming near to us and all of the messed up, scary, ordinary stuff of our lives. And so some questions for you to write some reflections to, either in the comments to this video or on your own. What might be wrong about making such a fuss about seeking God? How can members of a faith community help us to discover the ways God might already be with us? Do the spiritual practices or disciplines that you already engage in regular prayer or meditation or reading of scripture or any of those things, do they feel like they are helping or hindering your openness to God's presence in your life? And take a few minutes to write a reflection on the following of what it might be like to relax, take a deep breath, stop thinking about what you want or need, and forget about seeking God, and simply trust that God is seeking you. As you go into your week, I invite you to pray for those on different spiritual journeys, to pray that they would learn to relax into God, to rest in God's mercy, and to wait in the silence where God is known in love. It's so hard to do those things, right? To trust that in silence God can still show up and be present. And so maybe you pray for yourself or for someone you know who is desperately seeking to know God, to experience God, to know that they are loved. And so I invite you to end this time in prayer with me. 
Dear Lord and Shepherd, thank you for seeking me and providing for me all that I truly need. Grant me the confidence to trust that you always will. Amen. Thank you for joining me today for Meditation Monday. And as I said in the introduction to this video, if you are brave and want to write any of your responses to those questions in the comments, it would be fantastic to read them. But if not, I invite you to just spend a couple of minutes maybe with one or two of them and to write down your thoughts and reflections. Thank you guys. I hope you have a really wonderful day.